I'm Sheila and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about summertime. Summer is definitely my favorite season out of the year. Just because, I mean, the weather is just so nice. The sun is shining. Um, I love the summer outfits. I love wearing shorts, skirts, dresses, all that. Um, and yes, it does get warm, especially um, with global warming these days. But even so, there's just so many festivities going on in my city. Everybody's just so happy. I live in Canada, so we really appreciate when summertime comes. And I'm not a big fan of like winter sports or anything like that. So this is just truly a season where I can thrive and I feel my happiest. And I mean, I'm African, so I can handle some heat. But this um, summer, I feel like I didn't really start off on the right track. But like, it was difficult for me to get into the summer mindset, which to me, it just means like wanting to do things. Like the mindset to want to go out and do things and live life to the fullest and then just really enjoy um, the season. Right now, as I'm filming this intro, we are halfway through summer, which makes me sad. But I feel like I've been doing a few things to actually be in that summer mindset that I've been talking about. And in this video, I'll be showing you these few tiny things that I've been doing. And overall, I feel pretty good. Like, I feel like I've left the house more often than I have, like, this whole year <laughs> because of it. Um, I just feel more confident. I feel happier. I mean, I went to the pool. Okay, I did some sunbathing, you know, I, I went out at night, had like a fun summer night <laughs> and things like that. And I just see things going up from here. So in this video, I'm just showing you these like tiny little things that I've been doing to kind of help me get myself into that mindset of wanting to live my best summer life. So I don't know, I hope you enjoy it. If you do though, please um, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be doing a bunch of random videos like that surrounding getting my life together. <laughs> um, and I'm slowly getting there, I think. Like, just me posting this video is a big step for me. So, the first step for me to really be in that mindset is looking the part. So, I'll be showing you. Um, how I do my makeup during this time of year. I don't know about you, but for me, whenever I dress nice and I like what I'm wearing, I like how I look, I have the best time. <laughs> I just feel so much more confident and happier and just ready to get out and have fun. And especially in the summer, what I look for in my makeup is for it to look really bright and dewy and just, I want to look like a glowy, goddess if you will however disclaimer i am not a makeup artist i don't know what i'm doing exactly but this is just what i do i already have my foundation and concealer on i also do my eyebrows i, I feel like i don't know how to do my eyebrows but whatever so i know for summer do have a dewy look like you don't want to have a matte finish but i have pretty oily skin and so um i just have a hard time with that right now i'm only wearing like powder for my concealer i'm not wearing any powder on my skin and it just feels wrong so i don't know i'm contemplating like adding powder i also got this recently it's the rare beauty liquid blush um in the shade encourage especially like for summer like cream makeup liquid makeup usually is what people use <laughs> so i've used this a few times before and i've been i've struggled a little bit um, so we'll see. <laughs> I just need to get more used to it, but I, I do like the color. Anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna apply it on my skin. I'm gonna apply it with the Beauty Blender. Um, I'm just gonna wet it. Last time I used this, I put it directly on my face, and that was not the move. So I'm gonna put it on my hand first, because I'm just really scared of the pigment. That's how it looks like, if you care. <laughs> Using the sponge. Dabbing it, putting it evenly on my, on my sponge like this. Look how pigmented it is. Oof, okay, I'm scared. Can you see? 
Mm. So what do we think? So I know the trend now is to like put blush like on your nose and like put it like blend it into your concealer. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad at it. It just it does give me like a little sunburnt look. But but yeah, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. And plus it's dewy. So there we go. Now for highlighter, that's really important as well. I'm using Stella a highlighter. It's a Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Kitten. Look how gorgeous that is. I really like this. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use my fingers for this. I'm just gonna put it on my temples like that. It's also like a cream based product, so it's really nice. And I think it blends pretty well with your fingers. Oh, I'm really happy with my skin actually. Yay, I was a bit scared about the blush, but I think I think it definitely brings some color in my skin, makes me look a bit sunburnt. <laughs> so now for eyeshadow, I don't want to do too much. I just want to keep it really light and bright. I'm gonna add a little bit of contour in my crease, but that's it. A really, really light contour. Just a, a slight. Oop. And I'm not gonna be like contouring my face just because, like, I, I don't know. I, I just wanna keep things bright, like I said, and I don't wanna add darkness to my face too much. You can't even tell really, but it's fine, right? It's fine. <laughs> okay, next I'm just gonna add the highlighter shade on my lid. Just like that. I'm also gonna put it in my hair duct. Now I'm gonna do a wing liner and I'm gonna add a gloss and I'll be it for the makeup. So I'll be right back. So you know when you make your eyeliner a little bit too long? This is what happened, but this is the final look, I guess. Nothing revolutionary again, but this is um, the sort of makeup that I would be doing in the summer to look fresh and glowy and um, I don't know, I think I look really good. In the summer, I also like to have nice nails. I don't know, I know it's silly, but um, I do my nails myself. This is how they look like right now. They're really um not that great but i'm getting better slowly but surely and i don't know whenever i have my nails done i just feel so badass so confident and um yeah i don't know it makes me happy hello it looks like i don't have hair but i i do it's just in a bun because it's so warm right now and my hair just makes me feel too warm for this summer heat something that i do usually every summer is I like to have my nails done and I just love it, it makes me feel so confident but for whatever reason, I have not been doing that the past couple months, like during the winter I don't know why, I feel no motivation to do my nails and so as a way to put myself in the summer mood, the summer vibes and just to truly appreciate my, my hot girl summer I'm gonna do my nails right now and yeah, I normally do my nails myself. I have a gel nail machine. I could get my nails done at a nail salon, but there's something about it that gives me anxiety. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like going there by myself. I don't know why. And I don't have anyone else to go with me right now. So I'm going to do my nails myself and um, you know, it's cheaper. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Also, I just want to mention that I did my makeup the same way I showed it in the earlier clip um, and I like it a lot. I don't know, I feel very like fresh and dewy. Let me show you a bit closer. Also, something I forget always, that I always forget to add to my makeup routine is to wear sunscreen. Do that! Put sunscreen on! I never get sunburned, but I know that if I don't wear sunscreen, my skin is gonna age from the sun and I don't want that. So next time I'm gonna wear sunscreen. Okay, so um, here are the color options for the nails. 
I want something like bright for summer, you know, it's summer, I should wear something bright. So these are the options. There's this like really bright, look at it. I don't know if you can tell, but this really bright like orangey color. Then we have this one. This one is more of like a brighter pink. I don't know if you can tell very well. There's also like a bright yellow. If I want to, you know, yellow nails, that could be nice. I don't know if I want to start with yellow nails. I might start with something a bit more muted, like a light pink. You can't even tell really. The camera doesn't really show the pigment well, but it's like a really pretty light pink color. These are the options, but I think I think I want to go with this one. Look at it. You can't tell, but it's like a um, a peachy peachy pink color. That's the one I use all the time, which is why like maybe I want to try the other the other ones that I haven't really used before. But I think as I'm getting back into it, I think I'm gonna go with what I know looks good, what I know I like. But one thing about me is that I, oh my gosh, I am so slow with everything I do and I really want to go outside on a walk after this. I'm a major homebody and I want to challenge myself to just leave the house every single day, no matter what, you know, even if I don't have anything to do outside, just leave, just go out on a walk, you know, just walk around the neighborhood, grab a boba as a reward, you know? I don't really have anything to do outside today, but I am gonna go outside, show off my nails, and just take in the fresh air, although it's really warm today, but still, we're still doing it, we're still doing it. So let's do this. Um, I'm just gonna start prepping my nails. Um, this is how my nails look like right now. I'm just gonna shape them a little bit and just get them ready for the nail polish. Also, this is my little UV light thing. It's so weird, like, you're not seeing my face. Hi. Oh, also, like I said, I take so long to do my nails, and I just really want to just really get my head in the game. I'm going to time myself just so I know how long I, it truly takes me, and then maybe next time I can improve on my time, but okay. I'm just going to start by cleaning under my nails first. I'm just going to now just like file my nails and stuff and yeah, hope for the best. <laughs> oh my goodness, first I gotta say the biggest biggest disclaimer that I do not know what I'm doing, I'm not professional, but whatever. It works, you know, I'm just doing whatever works for me. And that's, that's that. Okay, back to the program. So now I'm just gonna apply my base, the base coat. They're gonna go in here for about 60 seconds. Now they're all nice and cured. So now I'm gonna take the actual color. And this is the part where you have to make sure it's all perfect and even because there's no going back. Um, and it's really what seals the deal, you know? You really want to it, it to be like a nice smooth finish with no like imperfections. Uh, 
a little before and after. This is how they look like. They're not perfect, okay? They're not perfect, but from far, from far they look nice, okay? And um, I can't wait to keep growing my nails and then they'll get longer and even prettier and I'm just really excited to be back on my on my nail grind, I guess. So I'm going to do my second hand. By the way, let me see how long it took me to just do like one side of my hands. It took me 40 minutes. Granted, I was distracted, I was watching streams, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hustle for this one. So both my nails are now done That's how they look like Again, they're not perfect, but I think they're pretty damn good. So I'm just gonna go for a walk now Like I said, I just need to get out of the house You know, I need to experience the sun on my skin and just just be out there and see whatever happens happens while I'm out there shower um, so I'm all fresh and clean and uh, while I was in the shower I was actually listening to my summer playlist which is another thing that's super big for me for the summertime to kind of really set the tone and the vibes like I said summer is the best time for me happiest time gotta have a playlist for this time of year and I love looking back on all my old um, summer playlists because Whenever I listen back to them, I'm instantly transported back to those times. But yeah, so I made a summer 2022 playlist. I will share the playlist. Um, I will admit, I'm really shy about most things, but I'm especially shy when it comes to sharing music. You'll never catch me play music at a party or anything. Like, if I play music around you, you should know that I trust you. My worst nightmare is someone coming up to me and being like, uh, can you skip the song? Like, I will feel personally attacked. It's like they're attacking me as a person. Which is so silly, but that's just truly how I feel inside. So anyway, I've decided I don't care anymore. Well, I care a little bit, but... But anyway, if, if you don't like my playlist, it's totally fine. You should make your own. Um, actually, I encourage you to make your own. I think it's honestly the most important thing <laughs> to do if you want to, um, I guess, manifest an amazing summertime period. But seriously though, like music really affects your mood and, you know, listening to good, uplifting music will help uplift you, in my opinion. But the songs on my playlist, like, I don't know if they all go together, like I'm not a playlist curator, but I mean I like the songs. If you're curious what I listen to on a daily basis during this time of year, well, you should check out my playlist. <laughs> Another thing that I want to start doing more is reading books. I want to read at least three books um, a month, that's my goal. I'm not a reader, so like, to me, I think that's doable. I wanted to do like four books a week, I mean a month. So like a book each week, but I just want to have more wiggle room, you know, so three is my goal. I'm going to start with The Alchemist because, I mean, I own the book. Oh, it's actually not mine, <laughs> but instead of buying like a new book, I should just read the books I have, right? So I know this is a classic. I'm excited to read it, but eventually I really want to get like a, a summer romance book. I just, I just love those books so much. I'm such a big romantic and it just makes me feel so giddy and I just really enjoy getting lost in the stories when I'm reading books. Especially like right now, I don't really take the time to just really focus on one thing. And I just think that's really important um, to help, I guess, be in the present. I think reading books is a good way to practice that because you can't daydream while you're reading like then you're just not reading you have to like pay attention you have to focus on the story you know and like when I watch movies for example sometimes I find myself like kind of wavering and just daydreaming and not 
fully like being attentive to the story which is something that you can't do when you read a book so yeah i'm excited but i think i'm gonna end this video here and honestly after filming this video like i feel so good i feel so um motivated rejuvenated just happy happier just by doing little things like doing my makeup every day and just doing my nails and um listening to good music just taking care of myself and my mind <laughs> but yeah like just these small little things i talked about in this video these are things that generally do help me feel more confident and just happier and motivated to live my best life because I, I, I have been struggling before um, in different ways but sometimes just adding these small little adjustments to your routine can really can really do a lot for you at least for me you know, I was just speaking for myself but, but yeah, I'm feeling really good and excited for the summer and what's to come but thank you so so much for watching this video all the way through I really really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more random thoughts from me <laughs> but I'm just gonna enjoy my evening now read my book and unwind and manifest a happy summer for myself I'll see you in my next video Bye-bye!